Hi all, welcome back to the corner of content. So let's discuss about how to set opening balance in Odoo 16 accounting module. So what is opening balance? In Odoo, opening balance refers to the balance of an account. The account can be bank account, customer account, supplier account. So you can set opening balance at the beginning of a physical period or at the beginning of an accounting period. So when you create an account for your organization, you will need to set the opening balance. The opening balance can be positive or negative depending upon the credit or debit that happens in the previous period. So this can be illustrated with an example. Suppose your company has a bank balance of $10,000 as of December 31st, 2022, which is considered as a previous accounting period. Now you need to set the bank balance or operating balance for the current accounting period that is January 1st, 2023. And there were no transaction between the previous period, 31st December 2022 and the current accounting period that is January 1st, 2023. So you can set the opening balance as 10,000. You could set the same reflection of the previous period in the current accounting period. So if there were any transaction during the pre previous period, then you need to adjust the opening balance accordingly to reflect the change in the current accounting period. So let's check how to set opening balance in Odoo 16 accounting module. Let's get into the accounting module and first we need to ensure that we have installed the physical localization. So just go to the configuration settings. So you can see physical country. So the physical country that we used here, here is United States. So that all the charts of accounts will belong to the United States. Uh, and here we can see, uh, we can also set uh, the opening balance directly from the configuration settings by clicking review manually. So it helps you to set the end of your year balances. You can also set the year balance or opening balance from the dashboard of accounting module. Here we can see the onboarding panel and we have an option of charts of accounts. So let me create a new account and let the name of the account be uh, internet expenses. Now, uh, before creating the account, we need to give the code uh, for the account. So let me give a code and let's set the account name and internet expense is a type of expense account so you need to change the uh, type as expenses now let me allow the reconciliation and you can set the opening debit of 4500 and when you click on the setup you can see that uh, we can see the code and the account name and the type is set as expense so let me remove the default taxes. You can use tags uh, for the filtration purposes and also you can allow the uh, journals. Now here we can set the currency that to be used under this account. And uh, if you set the account as deprecated, then you can see that this account won't be able to use. And currently the balance is uh, set to zero. Now let me save the account. Now let's back to the charts of account and uh, let's use or uh, set some of the opening balances. So uh, let me set uh, the current asset opening debit as 4,500. And under bank and cash, we can set an opening uh, yeah, credit as 600 and opening uh, cash that is opening debit as uh, 600 for uh, the cash account and we can uh, sit yeah we can see that we have applied a tax of 675 for the charts of accounts and under fixed as it we can set an opening uh, debit of 4000 and let me also search for uh, the account receivables So here we can see account receivable. So allow reconciliation. Uh, sorry, that is tax uh, receivable. So you can search for receivable account. So we can set uh, the opening credit of 5000. 
so we have created charts of accounts with the opening balance now when you go to the accounting and choose journal entries here we can see uh, the journal entries so let me remove the posted journal entries so currently we can see that uh, the journal entry opening journal entry so let me uh, choose the opening journal entry so here we can see uh, the accounts uh, with its label anti debit and credit so Odo automatically creates uh, an account with band suspend account so let me uh, remove this account and add uh, the account as undistributed profit or loss account so uh, here you need to always ensure that uh, the debit and credit are equal then only you can pause the entries so here we can see that we have created uh, an internet expense account with an opening debit of 4500 current asset account with an opening uh, a debit test 4500 and bank and cash with uh, opening uh, debit and credit uh, with 600 respectively and we have set uh, a fixed asset with opening debit as 4000 and uh, account receivable as 5000 and we have applied a tax of six, 675 so we can see the total uh, debit and total credit are equal now uh, we can also uh, post this journal entry so this is how we uh, create opening balance now uh, when you back to the configuration and choose charts of accounts and uh, you can see under setup you can see as we have posted the journal entry the balance is set to 4500 now we can also create uh, the journey entry manually. So let me create a journey entry manually so that you can click on uh, journal entry and let me give a reference name. Opening balance and let me choose an account that is current as it account. So uh, setting the opening uh, amount as that is opening debit as 650. Now you can also choose a uh, the undistributed account because we always need to uh, ensure that the debit and credit are equal now you can post this entry so when you back to the configuration and choose the uh, charts of accounts here you can see that the amount will be incremented with 650 uh, with the uh, uh, previous amount so the amount has changed into 5150 okay now uh let's go to the reporting and when you back to the balance sheet here we can see uh the uh all the accounts that is current as it account when you unfold this yeah fold this you can see the uh the amount that we have set for bank and cash so in case of bank we can see that bank is a current as it account that is as it account and the amount is moved out of the bank so um, so that it is shown as uh, minus 600 and indicated in red color and in case of cash it is a as it account and we can see that the as it is increased uh, that's why uh, it is uh, shown in black color and in case of receivable account the receivable account is a as it account and we can see that the amount is uh, moved out of the bank which is uh, indicated in negative uh, okay so here we can also see the unallocated earnings of the current year so all the unallocated earnings will be shown here and we can see the balance sheet will calculate the uh, the liabilities plus equity uh, in order to get the financial report of a company so this is how we uh, set opening balance and check the balance sheet of a company by setting up the opening balance in order 16 accounting module helps you to check the records of finance are accurate and consistent so thank you for watching the video